Hello my dear students and welcome once again to Zenith Academy online. In this video lesson today we are doing the MCQs that is multiple choice questions of our geography first chapter for ICSC class 9 that is earth as a planet. So this is for geography class 9 chapter 1 earth as a planet. Let's start first question. Who was the 5th century Indian astronomer and mathematician who believed in the round shape of earth? So read the options very carefully. Was it Nagarjuna or Susrutha or Varahamihira or Aryabhatta? So yes, the correct answer is Aryabhatta. Next, with Bedford level experiment, why did the middle pole Okay, why did the middle pole appear slightly, sorry, there is a mistake, appear slightly higher than the other two poles? Okay, appear slightly higher than other two poles. Than other two poles. So, what is the reason? The poles had the same height above the water in the canal or... You know, the poles were fixed at an intervals of 5 km or the because of the curvature of earth or because the poles were fixed at different latitudes. So, yes, it is because of the curvature of the earth. Identify the term used to identify the shape of the earth. So, was it flattening of the poles, circumnavigation or oblate spheroid or Bedford level? Yes, yes, my dear students. So, it is oblate steroid spheroid oblate spheroid name the self regulating and self sustaining structural and functional unit of the biosphere so which structural and the functional unit of biosphere is self regulating and self sustaining is it food chain or the atmosphere or the respiration or the ecosystem so yes the correct answer is ecosystem let's go ahead quickly why is biosphere known as the life zone of the earth? Biosphere ko life zone of the earth kyun kehte hain? Kyunke kya wo uh, interaction between atmosphere, lithosphere and hydrosphere hai? Ya it is an opti at optimum distance from the earth or oxygen is released back into the atmosphere by green plants or because the life develops in this zone and life processes gets transformed. So yes, the life develops in this zone and the life processes gets transformed. That is why it is known as the life zone of the earth. Very good. Next, why is earth known as watery planet? Earth ko watery planet kyun kehte hain? Because earth looks blue from the space as 70% of the total area is covered by water or the polar star give a blue appearance to the earth. Yeah, the pole... The geoid shape of the earth makes the earth appear blue or the earth has a biosphere which is why the earth appears blue. So obviously the correct answer is this because earth space, uh, the total area, 70% of the total area is covered by water. That is why it appears blue from the space. What type of shadow of the earth will be cast on the moon on a lunar eclipse? So very clearly this chapter mein diagrams ke saath bataya gaya tha ki lunar eclipse kis type ka shadow dalta hai. Straight, rectangular, triangle or spherical? So yes, it is spherical. So do the diagrams very carefully. What happens to the horizon with the increase in altitude? Jaise jaise altitude badta hai, to horizon ka kya hota hai? The circular horizon widens or the earth's surface appears flat or the circular horizon decreases or the circular horizon breaks. So what is the correct answer? The circular horizon widens. This is the correct answer. Okay. Let's go ahead with the next question. So children, let me tell you that all these questions I have taken from this particular book. This is ICSC. Uh, for, this is for ICSC class 9. 9 Oswal Gurukul. Most likely ICSC question bank. So most likely ICSC question bank. Hai, ye geography ka bahut amazing hai. Along with the MCQs, see, yes, sub MCQs hai iske. Iske saath saath very short answer type questions hai. Dekho, along with the answers and the explanations. Short answer type questions hai. Then you have differentiate between type of questions, reason based questions, diagram related questions. 
सो ऐसा कोई भी क्वेश्चन नहीं है जो कि इसमें इन्होंने इंक्लूड नहीं किया है जो पूरा चैप्टर किसी भी तरीके से पूछा जाएगा तो सभी टाइप के क्वेश्चन है इसमें सो इट्स अ वेरी गुड बुक टू बाय इफ यू वॉन्ट टू प्रिपेयर योर ज्योग्राफी वेरी वेल तो इस बुक का पूरा डिस्क्रिप्शन दे दूंगी मैं लिंक डिस्क्रिप्शन uh, बॉक्स में लिंक भी दे दूंगी ओसवाल uh, से बाय करने के लिए डायरेक्टली और अमेजोन से सो यू कैन गो अहेड एंड हैव अ लुक ओके और इसमें बहुत सारी इंपॉर्टेंट चीजें भी हैं आप uh, आपके सैंपल पेपर्स भी बना सकते हैं एंड ऑल दो थिंग्स सो यू कैन जस्ट गो एट द लिंक एंड सी ओके लेट्स गो अहेड एंड डू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन Why do sunrise and sunset occur at different times at different places? Okay, because the Earth rotates from west to east, and the Earth is spherical in shape. Or according to the movement of sun, and the Earth is spherical in shape. Or it depends on the lunar eclipse, and the Earth is spherical in shape. Or it depends on movement of pole star, and the Earth is spherical in shape. So, in four combination, me se kaun sa correct hai? First one. Because Earth rotates from west to east and is spherical in shape. Both the reasons are correct. Okay. Baki sab mein bhi Earth is spherical in shape hai, but the first thing, this option is correct. Okay. Now, which is the warmest part of the Earth? बहुत ही logical question है. क्या वो subtropic होगा, equator होगा, north pole होगा या south pole होगा? So obviously it will be equator because equator पे सबसे ज्यादा amount of light गिरती है अर्थ से सन से closest होता है वो which is the coldest part of the earth obviously it will be poles okay so if you look at the options obviously it will be poles what makes life possible on earth is it the distance between earth and sun presence of ozone spherical shape of the earth photosynthesis by plants बच्चों ऐसे वाले क्वेश्चंस में चारों ऑप्शन अपने आप में करेक्ट है बट कौन सा ऑप्शन इससे रिलेट कर रहा है इस क्वेश्चन से कि विच इज द मोस्ट करेक्ट आंसर विच इज द मोस्ट ऑप्टिमम सो डिस्टेंस बिटवीन द अर्थ एंड द सन सो इतना ऑप्टिमम डिस्टेंस है अर्थ और सन का कि इट मेक्स लाइफ पॉसिबल ऑन अर्थ नेक्स्ट वट इज द एवरेज टेम्परेचर ऑफ द अर्थ इज इट टेन डिग्री और सेवन पॉइंट टू डिग्री और सेवनटीन डिग्री और ट्वेंटी फाइव डिग्री so it is 17 degree celsius or 17 degree centigrade next why is venus hotter than mercury the temperature is extremely high or is it composed mainly of carbon dioxide which produces a greenhouse effect and raises the temperature or is it closer to the sun or it is composed mainly of nitrogen and argon so the correct answer is this it is composed mainly of carbon dioxide which produces a greenhouse effect and raises the temperature next what is the percentage of nitrogen present in the atmosphere so we all if we remember that pie chart it is very clear nitrogen is 78% okay what is the percentage of oxygen present in the atmosphere again is it 78 70 21 or 1 it is 21 na let's go ahead are ye kya ho raha hai sorry now how is heat balance maintained on the earth the atmosphere is a mixture of gases which keep the earth warm is it the correct answer or the atmosphere receives heat from the sun by solar radiation and loses heat by earth's radiation is this the correct answer or ozone absorbs harmful ultraviolet rays of the sun which keeps the earth warm see this this options are correct but which one is most appropriate most related to the question that we have to select hydrogen and helium raise the temperature of the earth and keep it warm so which is the most correct option this if you have understood the chapter very well the atmosphere receives the heat from the sun by solar radiation okay so our atmosphere layers and the ozone layer allows the heat from the sun to reach the earth but heat loses lost by the earth in the form of earth radiation okay they are trapped by our atmosphere they are not allowed to go out that is why the earth's heat is balanced now name the gas that is present in the earth atmosphere that absorbs the harmful ultraviolet rays of the sun just now we read that option ozone absorbs the harmful ultraviolet rays of the sun next 
what is responsible for moderating the climate and surface condition of the earth so moderating the climate in geography you must have understood ki climate ko moderate sabse zyada kon effect moderation kon effect karta hai water so is it ozone absorbs the harmful ultraviolet rays of the sun or distribution of water or structural and functional unit of biosphere or the temperature of the earth <coughs> so this is the correct answer distribution of water helps in moderating the climate and the surface condition of the earth how is nitrogen returned to the soil through manure excreta and uh, the remains of plants and animals through at, uh, or the atmosphere is largest reservoir of the nitrogen or it moves through the food chain to the animals or plants take nitrogen in the form of nitrates from the soil see many of the options can be correct in itself but how is the nitrogen returned to the soil soil ko fir se kaise milta hai we can't take it directly through the atmosphere right okay these options are correct partially but how it is returned to the soil through manure through excreta and the earthy remains of plants and animals so option a is correct name the process by which plants become the producers of food we know plant produce the food by the process known as photosynthesis so this is the correct answer name the solid crust of the earth the outermost this is also a direct question it is lithosphere hydrosphere is water bodies right so these options are wrong lithosphere is the correct answer direct question is what is water cycle so read the options distribution of water in lakes and rivers and its circulation or is it the presence of 70% water on the earth surface or is it circulation of water which modifies the surface temperature of the earth or it is the circulation of water between atmosphere hydrosphere and lithosphere through evaporation condensation and precipitation so this is the perfect definition of water cycle so option d is correct okay let's go ahead just a second now what is greenhouse effect greenhouse effect kya hai the movement of water between atmosphere hydrosphere and lithosphere ye to humne padha tha water cycle thi then the mixture of gases trapped by the green plants for photosynthesis is it a or b or is it c the trapping of ultraviolet rays of the sun by ozone or is it the trapping of sun's radiation by gases present in the lower atmosphere so yes this is greenhouse effect if you want to study the chapter okay if you have not understood the chapter you can write in the comment section i'll make a video of the explanation of the chapter as well wherein i will explain you everything in detail greenhouse effect how the ozone absorbs and everything okay what is the average distance of the earth from the sun is it 148 million kilometer is it 138 million kilometer 175 million kilometer or 148.14 million kilometer so the answer is 148.14 million kilometer now see this diagram so this diagram has been directly copied from the book the same book uh, in the description i'll give you the link of this book also so you if you want you can buy this and this book has uh, many other subjects as well this is available for physics chemistry biology mathematics history civics uh, computer applications etc okay now so we have we can have one more option maybe 0 degree so refer to the image and answer the question at which angle is the pole star seen in the north pole so it is at 90 degree north okay सिर्फ 90 डिग्री भी दे रखा होता तो भी चलता था क्योंकि क्वेश्चन में नॉर्थ पोल भी दे रखा है लेट सी नाउ रिफर टू द इमेज एंड आंसर द फॉलोइंग क्वेश्चंस सो दिस इज हाउ व्हेन द अर्थ इज अ स्फीयर बट लुक एट द क्वेश्चन हाउ वुड वन साइट अ शिप एट सी फ्रॉम अ डिस्टेंस इफ समवन इज सीइंग अ शिप फ्रॉम अ डिस्टेंस ओके इफ द अर्थ वाज फ्लैट अगर अर्थ फ्लैट होती तो If the Earth was flat, how would have one sight a ship at sea from a distance, far away? The hull of the ship would appear first, or the entire ship would appear visible 
should would be visible at once or the mast would be visible first or the deck and the funnel would be the first to be sighted so since it is asking if the earth was flat don't get confused by this diagram here the earth is not flat so if the earth was flat the entire ship would be visible at once this is the correct answer b okay so this was all about our first chapter of geography for icsc class 9 i have given you all the multiple choice questions if you have any doubts write in the comment section if you want any particular chapter to be explained to you you can uh, give your requirements in the comment section below we will be re really happy to help you guys we have made some chapters videos you can go ahead and look at them in our channel you can go and search and if you want any particular videos please do write to us and keep the learning always on on zenith academy online if you have liked this video do share it with your friends give it a thumbs up and write in the comment section bye bye my dear students